I urge the Deputy President not to be drawn into answering Joho, who is a political conman, an academic dwarf, an all-round fraudster, and a boastful criminal. I am an elected leader, and I speak my mind. We will call Joho for who he is. Joe has been implicated on drug trafficking by Interpol, by a report that was presented in Parliament. And if you Google the name of us and Joe right now, the kind of things that come up is none other than the issue of drug trafficking. I understand he said yesterday that he doesn't know me. The first time I got to know Joe was when the, you know, the report on drug trafficking was presented in Parliament. So there is no problem in not knowing me. I also got to know him under the circumstances of drug trafficking. Joe should be able to tell this country why he was denied access to the venue where the destruction of the narcotics was being done. Why was he hovering around there? Why did he faint at the sound of the blast that destroyed the narcotics? What did he know about these narcotics that were found in his own county? I want to agree with Prime Minister Raila Odinga. During the recently concluded anti-corruption conference, the former Prime Minister wondered how it was possible that the Akasha brothers were walking, roaming around freely in this republic, on being extradited to the United States within the shortest time possible, they had been prosecuted, and as we speak right now, they are, they are cooling their feet in jail. While in Kenya there are local accomplices are roaming around lecturing us about integrity. What kind of integrity are you talking about? 